This is the first time an openly transgender person has appeared on the cover of Time Magazine. So Laverne, when you got that call, what did you think? But first, Caitlyn Jenner's BFF, Candace Kane, has got a new role. In 2015, being transgendered is trendy. It does blow my mind. Because I can remember at a time when you had to be hidden. When, if you hear anything about a transgender woman, she was either getting arrested for prostitution or she got killed. You didn't see the positive side of being a transgender woman and being happy. Cricket is a childhood name that my aunt said that I would never stay still. Called me Cricket all my life. I know that there's got to be more to life than just problems. And I remember Cricket on the Young and the Restless. Hey, Cricket. She was very classy. She was very um, ambitious. She was not like a laid back type lady, no. She was a force to be reckoned with, too. She was beautiful. Hey, lady, who do you think no, I'm you are? serious. When it was time for me to officially change my name, I said Cricket. My philosophy is you can't become a woman overnight. It took me a while. I wrote saying how long I've known you. Yes, ma'am. And why we're referring you out of state and to justify that. Yes, ma'am. So you. Thank so you. So you can look it over. I think it's on TLC channel. The little girl. I am the Jazz. One. Yeah, uh -huh. the little girl who retransitioned. And I've been following her story like I've been oh, following her life. Thinking about that. And she looks beautiful. I am a teenage girl. I'm also transgender. And I'm proud of that. In today's society, it's a lot more acceptable, more understand, because it's there. When we came up, they want to throw you in the same asylum if you say you something different at that age. But well, she has understanding parents. Yeah, she has understanding parents, and that makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wow. She really, um, she really understands your transition. It has to be documented you know, to make it an easier ride on this end. Because this is like one of the major hardest parts of transitioning as a regular person, um, that you have these. That's what it is. I got these, so. Closer step. At eight, I thought of myself as a little boy named Jerome that was cute, that was adorable, that was very feminine. I was different. The part about me becoming a woman came later on in life, but I knew that I was gay. I knew that I liked boys. But because Southern Baptist family, the South, 1980s, some things are not spoke upon. Coming from the country, I still was a boy that climbed trees. I still had a BB gun. We wanted to join the local Boy Scouts in our neighborhood. And we was not allowed, me and my best friend was not allowed to join the Boy Scouts because we was gay. So that's when I started knowing that the road that I was going to come up against. My mother expressed her views. You know, she put me out when I was 16, 17. You might be outcasted by your biological family, but it's a group of friends that take you in. I started getting in the house scene like in 1996, 1997. It originated from New York. Um, there was a movie called Paris is Burning. My other name, my drag name, Magnolia Thunder Pussy Love the Priest Star. Back then, being a gay male, getting a job was very difficult in the South. Providing for myself at that age, um, I wrote checks, a life of crime. There was not a time where I thought that I could be, that I could afford the surgery legally. I'll try to see what alternative they cover and I'll let you know. 
Okay, let me know because yeah. I have to. I have to know. Um, All right. When I do have this done, that what they do right. cover. Right. Because they change the whole. Thing. I always had the thought of um, sexual reassignment surgery for a very long time, because I was never one to like the extras, as we call it. I was never one to like to use um, my little friend. So, <laughs> so I, as I got older, having it gone was not, <laughs> stop laughing, it was not a big, big deal to me. I knew that this was the best thing for me. For her to say that she wants to be here for my surgery, it's clearly that she acknowledged that I've messed up. I have to make this right. We're gonna have a burning ceremony to get rid of that ticket with that name on it. You know, Jerome paved the way for cricket. I would never forget Jerome. Jerome was all I've had at one point. He was the one that made it happen. Next stop, folks, Philadelphia. I'm positive. You have on. I'm gonna tell you that. Mama. How many times have you said that? Fifteen. I'm gonna say fifteen <laughs> one before you carry your ass up in the steps. So you say when I get finished, I'm gonna come back and say, Lord, please let me just let go me back. Let me get it back. Let me get it back. No, I ain't gonna ask for it back. They can go ahead. They can have it. She can take it and put it in the jar. Whatever. Sit it up on the shelf. This is it. Out with the old, in with the new. So it's like when I lay down and when I wake up, I'll be a whole new creature. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. When I woke up, that's when I knew it was real. I haven't cried that one cry yet. I know it's coming, but I don't, I haven't cried that one cry yet. Like the real that real, that real, I haven't did it yet. It, I haven't, it's coming though. It's coming. But I have to do it one day. I have to pat myself on the back. Say, Toots, you made it. It's been um, three weeks since the surgery, and I've been um, adjusting. Every day my body goes through changes. Every day is something. Every day is something. There are a lot of transgendered women, like they have fought years and years and years, so I can be able to have this surgery done and covered by Medicaid. And they're dead and gone. And here I am, a little old girl from the South, is reaping the benefits of their fight. 
See how good I am? I'm doing gentle too, cause I don't want <laughs> you to cry. Cause beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. I know. Trust me, I know. Yeah. Beauty is pain.